But I ain't nothing like I said. I don't bring that to the attention. So when I talk about that type of something, like my nigga, my. Your work, I used to love listening to Moms Maybe because Moms Maybe had something to say. Who Moms Maybe lived there in the province, she couldn't come on stage or the people gave her a, a chance because her private life was not um, to be mistaken, but she had to live in the dark. We're not at a place where you have to live in a dark anymore. You don't have to live in a dark. You don't have to live in a, and you don't break a mold and then people like myself or people who look up to you. Like, and like I said, I don't compare myself to what a lot of people do, but I do stand up comedy. You know, so a lot of people on the internet, LGBT or whatever, you know, they may result to stand up, but it ain't what the fuck they want. How dare you come into the stand up world saying I did a thousand videos and then I said, you know what, I can make a bag off stand up, so now I'm gonna do it. Okay, you resulted to it, but it was not your passion. Fine, that ain't me to tell you what your passion is, but I can tell when you resulted to it. I can tell whether it's your call or not when I hear you on the mic. I'm like, mm, mm. Right, right. I'm not gonna come out as flaming darn fleet. I'm not about to put on a dress and be on stage for you to get that respect. If you cannot take my balls in these motherfucking skinny jeans, as darn fleet, something's wrong with you. Because it's just things you do not have to fucking do. You can be funny as you. And I've done a good job of that. That's what I be saying. And that's what I be saying. Flip Wilson was another one who I felt like, I, mean, I don't know for sure, but when I go back to him, I felt like it was an LGBT comment. He didn't get his big old do until he had the Flip Wilson show. And still with that, he had to be Geraldine. That's a lot of comments I spend my time talking to don't know the first thing about comment. I'm like, you don't even know Flip. You don't even know Flip. You don't even know fucking Flip. Can't name three of your founding fucking comments, except the ones that everybody always talk about, like Richard Pryor, Red Fox. You don't know nobody else. You don't, you don't know Nipsey Russell. You ain't never watched Nipsey Russell in the Bowinkle Joe. You ain't never watched a lot. And I be sitting there listening to people talk about comedy. I'm like, you. You made a funny video, but you don't know comedy. I be saying that. I be fucking saying that. And I don't be being rude. I be being real. I don't give a fuck about nobody feel about it. I watch the rhythm of the world. And it behooves me. <laughs> That don't make no sense. It make no sense. A rhythmic comedy started off with Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Russell. I'm sorry, Russell. That's when the other uh, every other word rhyme. I learned that technique from him. Some people's like you learned that from some more. No, I did not. That's people who did not know comedy. That's people. Who learned, I did not learn that technique from some more. Some more also does that technique. Fuck your bling bling nigga, can you swing swing? I've heard her do it, but that's actually Nipsey. That's who I got it from. Okay? Facial expression and time, like Carol Burnett. Watched the Carol Burnett show when I was a little girl. Even though it was out when my mother was a little girl. Carol Burnett is facial expression. You want to learn facial expression when you're a comic? Watch our Love Lucy. Watch a Robin Williams movie. Watch motherfucking Carol Burnett. I ain't gonna get up there and tell somebody you can pause and you don't even know what the expression number. Even when writing, you can write your facial expression until you're joking. I knew that. And I was sitting there like, what? And I was meeting a lot of people who was talking to me one, one day and I got so irritated in a comedy meeting. I was like, that's not. I got real irritated one day. Because I knew what I was laying, I was trying to go. So when I knew that they presented me, let's do what behooves me, I knew that my TV show was gonna be. Very much so sketch, like I seen Carol Burnett, Philip Wilson. For real. Somebody said, um, he likes it and it looks good. And what they talking about, bro? Somebody said, love Carol Burnett. I love Carol Burnett too. She's amazing. Lucy, all of them. That's when you didn't have to say nothing. You could just uh, look. That's why I knew comedy was universal. You don't have to say nothing for someone in Japan, Australia, and America to laugh at you. You can just be at the bar. Somebody said, what you ranting about? Comedy. Comedy. And their frustrations behind it. I know there's a lot of great artists get frustrated. Like I watched one of Brandy's interviews. I can always identify her. And you get frustrated because you know how great you are. And then when you see the appropriation of it, you be like... That ain't even funny. For real. Someone said, wait, what's going on with Chick-fil-A and y'all make up? Um, something that I can't tell you about. I'll be doing that. Yes. 
I be watching such as I was like, that don't make no sense. You know, it's not just me who is first. Even as you, if you're a bartender, you can go to a Ruby Tuesday or, I don't know, a Ruth Chris and order a drink. And you be like, that ain't right. They put too much triple sec in this fucking Long Island. That ain't right. It's just when you are in it, you you are a heavy critic of it. You be like, mm, that one, mm, that one, my type of funny, but ha uh, ha. Uh, uh. Who's your favorite comedian? I don't have a favorite comedian. And I don't think nobody comically can say that because my influences come from all funny on the fly comics. I like comics that write. I am a writer, but I like comics too who can go somewhere into their room and not ever have to touch they set. I find myself more confident around those comics. Around the Samoas of life, around the Cat Williams and Bernie Max of life. Those are my comfort zones because comedy ain't nothing you gotta think of. Comedy, timing and comedy ain't nothing I ever had to work on. You know how people like, man, you gotta work on your time, I had to work on my time. How you gotta work on timing and you're a fucking comic when all the time you tell jokes and you, and personally, certain things as a comic, cadence of voice, facial expression, how to bring people in a fucking room to make them feel like they're in the room with me. Ain't nothing I had to work on. I didn't have to go to the funny bone and take a class or the comedy zone. I never took a comedy class. I watched greats do it. I knew for a, from a child that I had, had an undeniable gift. I knew that when I went to jail and I was making niggas who won't go never see their moms and children laugh again. Life first. I knew that. I knew when I would ride the city kitty. When I lived in Baltimore, I didn't have no fucking car. I knew that. You can get on a bus and make bitches in Baltimore laugh in the morning who go into Johns Hopkins and shit like that. You are a gift, my nigga. So it won't no timing for the fleet. When I meet people who be like, I had to work on time. Be like, you had to work on time. How you don't know how to make nobody laugh? Jack and Jill went up the hill. That's timing. It's just like rhyming. That's what I be saying. I be like, no, it is a big difference between you and me. I ain't had to work on time and I didn't have to work on funny. On on the stage, you have to work on structure. It is a way you tell a fucking joke. But time and ain't nothing the fleet had to work on. Because I just had that. And I just knew how to be funny all the time. And I was going to be like this. Mm -mm. Mm. Somebody said, Darren, how do you keep yourself inspired to keep a bunch of my crew? I watch enough. Um, appropriation of comedy to know that I, I need somebody needs to come in and fill in a gap. I watch a lot of it. I don't care if it is. I don't care if I do decide to do a cheer. I don't give a damn if I do decide to wear a wig in a video. I can tell a joke. I can tell a fucking joke, and that's what it's all about. Just Tim. Oh, underscore. Oh, whatever. What's up? Just, yes, love that answer. When you watch enough stuff, don't you be like, damn, I got it. Somebody got to fill it in. And I was like, because that's not right. That's not fun. Well, it, it might, it, another thing I had to learn is what's funny is not always comedy. I had to learn that. What's up with your nails, homie? Did you do them? And I'm not your homie. I don't know you at all. But the truth of the matter is, um, um, you, 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 you gotta, the time and, 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 and all that type of stuff. When I watch people talk and I, and I watch stuff, I'm like, that's not right. That's not right. That's not right. And I refuse to get around a bunch of people who going to tell me, somebody said, you be so nonchalant. I'll be so fucking real. I'll be so fucking real. I'm not going to get around a thousand people. Even when I was offered to do reality TV in 2018, I ain't going to tell you which show, but I can't talk around it. It was a person on a reality TV show who had a few funny moments from being messy with a few other bitches. So they told this person that they should do stand up. And that's another thing that drew me up the fucking wall and back. Just because you've been deemed as funny does not mean you can do comedy. We have all can be funny in an argument. All of us can say, bitch, that's why your eyes so spread apart. They ain't never seen each other. I mean, alien, we looking at a bitch who got cock eyes. And I'm like, oh my God, the girl, you ain't had to say that about her eyes. You ain't had to talk about her dirty kids. <laughs> but you crazy. Anybody can be funny talking about Roland Ray. I'm just going to be real. All the wheelchair jokes you can make, of course they're going to be funny because we can see it. But can you be funny when it ain't nothing to see it? Fucking all. That's the question. That's the difference between me and you. And I'd be like, oh, nigga, I'm not even about to sit here. Funny and comedy are two different things. Singing and vocalizing are two different things. Dancing and choreography are two different things. Just cause you can twerk don't mean you can choreograph a fucking video. When you get that through your little narrow mind, we'd be better people.
fighting and boxing are two different things. A bitch that can get it on the low don't need to step in a ring with Ronda Rousey so she can roundhouse, backhand spring, drop kick your bitch ass. Period. Poo. And when you get that, you stop talking to me like we in the same grade because my nigga, we not. We are not. Still being real. Going to church and being a Christian are two different things. I know a lot of church going pill popping pussy poppers in the front row with tight pearls on and a shortcut. Tell them some praise God. Ain't the same. When you can find a common uh, a common difference and a common median in between what you do and what someone else do, you stop comparing. I've seen people make a lot of funny videos, but I knew it won't comedy. Now, also that I've seen them on stage, and I knew it won't. Megan Sean said, I said, I said, hey to you too, love. It'd be true. It'd be fucking true. And I just, I was like, I'm not about to go and take the comedy class today at your comedy club. And I put it all out there. People don't like you when you be being real because they want you to pretend that we don't see what we see. Even with the house host. Now, I had a house host one time. I remember, I never forget, I did one of the comedy clubs in Atlanta. I did all the comedy clubs in Atlanta from 707 on the outskirts of Norcross and Riverdale, on the outskirts of Riverdale to the Atlanta Comedy Theater in Norcross to Punchline right off, um, what is it, Buckhead, all of them. Truth of the fucking matter is, I, um, I met a house host at a comedy club one time, and this may ruffle feathers. And when you're dealing with a bitch like me, I'll tell you to your face. House host. When I was a house host, when I first started off in open mics, I knew that I was the house host. I didn't get around every big comic that came to town just to take a picture and act like I was doing more than what I was doing because ain't nobody fool. It's the difference between, you know what, I worked with Cat Williams tonight because Cat Williams wanted to work with me and I worked with Cat Williams because I'm the house host. Did Cat Williams pick you? Did it really pick you? If you were standing up in a line of 10 comics, would you would have got picked? That's how you got to ask yourself if you're looking like the little brother in the picture. I be watching it. Mm, look at this. Then I had one who checked me when I came in the motherfucker. Like, I was like, are, are, um, um, you're opening for me tonight. And she was like, opening? No, I'm the host. I was like, are you going on before me? opening excuse me and i'm gonna be in rude I, I came up nice as fuck i was like are you opening tonight i'm gonna be in rude because i i didn't want to say are you the house host i felt like that sound worse that i sound, felt like that sound worse because the house host people already expected i was like are you opening tonight what's up i'm not the open action man i'm the household then was reading me her accolades like i gave a fuck i don't give a fuck about somebody telling me they did comic view look at this face I watched Comic View, and guess how old I was? Nine. I'm being real. Person bragging about Def Comedy Jam 17 years ago? What have you done lately? I'm doing the stardom today. And that's how I be looking at it. Stop trying to meet people and undercredit them and discredit them. I won't do that to you. But after you'd have met so many people of the same walk, you'd be like, what the fucking fuck? That ain't no sense. That don't make no sense. Tell the truth. Some more than pick you to open up for her. You was the house host. And I'm wrong with that. But it's just that we all see the truth. And when somebody come in and tell you the truth, it's like, damn, was being rude. I'm on being rude. I was being real. Something that ain't nobody doing with you. But I'm the one. <laughs>